Hello everyone with your CIG TV News Update, I'm Donna Bush. Top health officials held a meeting on Monday evening to educate the public about the facts on Ebola in the United States. Well, at the meeting held at the Cayman Islands Hospital, they discussed ways in which you cannot get Ebola. You can't get it through water, through the air, or through food. They also outlined the ways in which you can get Ebola, such as touching the blood or body fluids of a person who's sick with or had died from Ebola, touching contaminated objects like needles or touching infected animals, their blood or other body fluids, or even their meat. Also, Ebola can't be spread until a person actually has symptoms. Now, officials also said that Ebola poses no significant risk to the United States. Some things to bear in mind are to always wash your hands, do not touch blood or body fluids of people who are sick, do not handle any items that may have come in contact with anyone who's sick, and do not touch anyone again who has died from the disease. Now, the 2014 Ebola epidemic, they say, is the largest in history. Well, several times a week, many civil servants joined the deputy governor in staying fit and getting healthy. The GAB Walk Run Club idea was the brainchild of chief officer in the Ministry of Health, Jennifer Ahern. She tells us more. Well, we had our national health care conference last year in October, and the theme was workplace wellness. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of discussion around the conference, which our ministry put on, um, about things that we can all do as employers, to help get the public, our employees and the public more active. One of the things that came out of it um, was an idea to start a walk-run club for the civil servants out of the government administration building. Um, it was something that uh, I got together with a friend of mine, Tony Watts, who runs the Wednesday Night Running Club at World Gym, and they've been going for a number of years. And I said, Tony, help me out. How are we going to make this happen? Uh, we put a plan together. We went to the deputy governor and said, sir, we'd like to launch this. And as everybody will be aware, the deputy governor has been on a real fitness kick himself mm -hmm. and has really encouraged as much as he can the civil service to get moving. So the deputy governor was on board. He said, let's go for it. So we started in March of last year. And we've had, um, on average, probably about 15 to 20 people every week. People sort of come and go as they can. We have a group that does walking. We've had a group that does run walk. And then we've had some hardcore runners that just come out and leave the rest of us in their dust every week. And people have been coming out consistently week after week. And some people who, when we started in March, had not been active at all, were then able to walk the deputy governor's 5K at the end of May and the, the sense of achievement that they had and the new commitment or the continued commitment they had to being active and healthy was fantastic. And that was one of the reasons that we wanted to get that going. We've got a core group that comes out every Monday night. Uh, we also have a, a group that's been doing Wednesday night Zumba that Tara has organized. I haven't actually gone and done the Zumba, the Zumba yet because, well, I just am too embarrassed really to <laughs> do it. I'm not very good at dancing, but, um, but there's been a group, there's also Charles and Stefan have been doing the Dynamic Duo Boot Camp mm -hmm. on Tuesday and Thursday morning. So we've really seen some of the members who have really made the commitment and have continued to come out. The camaraderie amongst the group is fantastic. People, you know, I know for me, I call them my accountability partners. I know that I need to get down to the staff entrance by 5.30 and be ready to go because there's people there waiting for me. And otherwise, it would be quite easy to either get in the car and go home or sit at my desk and try and squeeze in a couple hours of work after work. But by having these accountability partners, having our workout buddies, it makes us all come out. And it makes it that much more fun because, you know, you have the chat, if you can keep it going with your breath. And, and it's just really exciting to see the same people week after week and to see how people have improved. And we invite you back here tomorrow when we hear from civil servant Charles Gilman about his role in the G GAB Walk Run Club. Well, if you missed today's news update, you can get all the details on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. And we invite you to tune into Radio K Man's For the Record show, which you can watch only here on CIG TV on Monday and Friday nights at 8 o'clock. Also, don't forget their show, uh, 1215 Weekdays with Sterling Dwayne Ebanks. As always, I'm Donna Bush, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a wonderful night, and hoping to see you back here again on Wednesday evening.